Michelle Steele in Boston joining us now on SportsCenter. Michelle, running a marathon, that, that is hard. It's a painful thing, and yet it seems like runners were drowning in smiles and euphoria today. Absolutely, John. Certainly it was a day full of fatigue, but it was also a day full of smiles and, quite frankly, full of gratitude uh, from the runners that I spoke with. You know, it's remarkable that one year after this area was turned into Boston's largest crime scene, today the city welcomed crowds, welcomed runners back to Boylston to take back that finish line and to prove once again that Boston is still going strong. Well, it's Patriots Day, and this is our town. This is the time to celebrate our independence, and it was a long week last year, and now it's time to take it back and enjoy it again. I didn't know whether to laugh or cry, so I did a little of both. Uh, it, it, uh, the fan support was unbelievable. Uh, seeing the uh, the police and the military personnel was just awesome. Keep calm and Boston strong. The crowd support was it was at least double. Uh, there are people, you know, five five deep uh, from very early on, and the energy was just incredible. Especially with the USA uniform on, you just put your arm up like this, and the chance would start. It was an incredible energy today. There's definitely more runners. You can you can tell. It's about as many people as you could fit on the course, but I mean, the uh, the crowd was unbelievable. It's, it's lined people the entire course. It was really emotional, especially with all the crowds out there. Everyone saying thank you for running during it, which you'd never hear in a marathon, but everyone was just thankful, and everyone with Boston Strong uh, signs and everyone cheering. It was just, it was amazing. I had music on, but actually I couldn't even hear my music. The crowds were so loud at parts. We've taken our city back, and it's time to enjoy our runners and cheer them on on our day. Taking our city back, about as good as a Patriots day as you could have. Now, one big change, of course, was security. 3,500 representatives of law enforcement, very visible today. They were actually turning away from some spectators uh, from some areas, especially near the finish line. We experienced that a couple of times because they said they were at capacity. The other big change was barriers that lined the entire length of the course. That had never been done before. But you know what, John? That did very little to quell the energy and excitement from both the crowds and the runners. Boston finished what they started today. Shell Steele reporting from the Boston Marathon. Hop Kitten, Boylston Street, most importantly, everybody's safe. Thanks, Michelle.